Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. And tonight, I'm actually taking a quick break from the Psalms, not to even give you another Bible, Bible book, Bible chapter, Bible passage, Bible verse. I'm actually here to promote a book that I read several years ago, and I briefly read some of tonight, and it's just, it's really, really solid. It's a really good book. Definitely not sponsored. It'd be really cool if you wanted to. I'd appreciate that. I could, could always use a little sponsorship. But um, it's just, it's good. And what, and kind of sort of, in my opinion, the best part about the book is it's not a Christian book. And it is this book, Proof of Heaven, A Neurosurgeon's Journey into the Afterlife by Eben Alexander, M.D. As I, like, I love the way um, OBS is showing this, not like as Amira would do and it reverses everything, but it actually shows y'all the actual text so you can actually read what it is that I put on the screen there. And the basic kind of like summary of the book, even Alexander, he is a neurosurgeon and a physicalist and a materialist at that. So he buys the normal, he buys the normal um, scientific line of, you know, it's just this physical material world, nothing else. He gets a very specific strain of, um, I'm trying to, it, it was meningitis. And if I'm remembering, if I'm saying the words correctly, this meningitis, which was brought about by a strain of E. coli, attacked the neocortex of his brain. Um, so it like it didn't turn off his breathing, or um, or it didn't, and it didn't turn off like his blood circulation. The neocortex is like the center of logic, rationale, emotion, conscious thought, all the things that essentially make us human is what the neocortex does, and that's the part of the brain that was shut down by this meningitis. So he shouldn't have been able to have any thoughts while in his seven-day coma. He shouldn't have been able to have any hallucinations or any near-death experiences. Well, he had a doozy of one, and it is shared in this book. Once again, proof of heaven. And because it's not a Christian book, I'm not pushing necessarily my faith or my religion onto you guys, I want to open up the possibility in your hearts and minds that God, heaven, an afterlife, that all of this stuff is real, a consciousness which transcends our physical brain, that all these things are real. So if you get a chance, check it out. You won't get a heavy dose of Christianity. You won't be asked to convert or repent, but I think it will challenge the most ardent physicalist or atheist or agnostic that you might need to open up your eyes, you might need to open up your ears to things that you previously had thought were not real. Now I will say, just since I am promoting this book for free, um, I'm not being paid for it except for by whatever YouTube ad money I get off of this, I, I'm free to say I don't agree with everything in the book. There are several points in the book that he makes, even some things that he says he, um, like things that he says he saw, well, I don't object to a lot of things he says he directly saw. I do object to some of his interpretations. I might object to one or two things he says he saw. I'm just like, I'm thinking through it. I'm like, no, I object mainly to some interpretations of his. I really don't object very strongly to the things that he saw. And I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of a, a spoiler. The God that he meets does not claim the name Jesus. In fact, he claims no name whatsoever. My thought is if you're meeting God, wouldn't God introduce himself, tell you his name, tell you what you should believe, and that simply, hello computer, thank you for that update reminder. God didn't tell him any of those things. And I'm just like, why not? Instead, it seems a rather open invitation to believe in his existence, but not a direct, oh, hey, Jesus died on the cross for you, he rose again, believe in him, and you'll go to heaven. It wasn't that. So very, very interesting. It uh, stretches my thoughts out a little bit. It makes me think outside of my normal box. So can't recommend it more. Highly recommended from Jesus Freaking Gamer. So if you're interested, look into it. Um, if it's, if it's uh, something you can find online, find it. If you have to spend a few bucks to buy it, again, I couldn't recommend it more. I got the paperback. It was, how much was it? It wasn't much. It wasn't even 20 bucks. Um, probably not even 10. I'm looking for a price tag on here. Failing mis Oh, wait, never mind. 15.99. I was right, less than 20 bucks. And if I did pay full price for it, 
full price, well spent. So that's my five minute promo. That is the Bible message for today, even though it wasn't from the Bible, anything to open up people's minds to the possibility of God and heaven. Um, even if it doesn't directly correlate with my particular theme, um, it's still something that I'm open for. It's still something I'm all for. And the book doesn't say anything so ridiculous um, that I'm just like, you know, I can't promote this book. No, just the ideas that it presents, proof of heaven. I, I though, Those ideas, I can definitely get behind. Well, I may not agree on all the particulars, the concepts, and the realities that the book presents, I am all about and all for as a Christian. So guys, thank you very much for your time. Maybe give this book a little bit of your time as well. Thank you for watching. I love you, and God bless.